Hi, this is Chris with uh, DIY Upholstery Supply again. Um, today I want to do a little demonstration on how to uh, how to uh, upholster a slip seat or a dining room chair seat. Anyhow, to start off with, I'm going to talk about our tools. This is going to be chapter one, by the way, because we only got ten minutes on YouTube, so we'll start with chapter one and how to make a dining room seat chapter two. You're going to need a staple remover. You're going to need a marker, a pair of dikes, a mallet, a staple gun. This is a Fasco gun by uh, Pneumatic, which is the best in the market, and a foam cutting saw. You need to take your slip seat base and lay it out on the piece of foam you want to use. I'm using a two inch piece of foam which we carry for this slip seat and which I recommend for most dining room slip seats. And etch out with a marker an edge about three quarter inches further than your frame as you can see. Take your trusty foam cutting saw or steak knife, whatever you have. And cut out your foam. You might prefer to put some glue on uh, your board to glue your foam on. I don't do that. I use uh, a technique um, that I call rolling the foam. Put your hand down on top of your foam and push your foam back that half inch so it kind of rolls over the edge of the wood like that. You do that all the way around. You don't have to worry about it being even because once you put your DAC on, on that's going to solve all the problems with the bumps that you might be seeing in the video right now. Okay, you got your two inches of foam tacked into place. Now this is uh, some Dacron, this is three quarter inch Dacron that we also carry. Place it on top. This is kind of the part where you get your nice soft look of your fabric once you put it on. This Dacron is a cure-all for all lumps in foam. Pull your Dacron down even like that. Use the grip of your hand like this. Do not pull like this because you'll never get a clean finish. Always use your full palm with all your fingers and use the crook between your thumb and your pointing finger to make that. You can feel how smooth it's coming. your centers, staple all the way around. And you'll get a nice finish where at the when you do just get the ready to apply your fabric you will have a clean surface to work with. Always save your corners for last. And always make sure you have enough staples. I'll be right back. And by the way, 3 8 staples are perfect for this. Or quarter. We also carry those. But we do not carry band-aids, so be careful. Alright, then you're going to need your scissors. Cut the excess Dacron back. Toss it aside like a, a barber or a hairdresser would do. And there you have a nice, soft, 
well-shaped slip seat for your dining room chairs. Very simple, very fun. Call me if you got questions. And uh, look for chapter 2. We're going to put the fabric on. Thanks. Bye.